clearly a design fault. I'll have to correct that in the others. What are those? <laughs> I wouldn't bother trying to escape. They'll rip you to pieces before you could blink. My very own Praetorian guard. They'll make me untouchable. You really think you can keep them locked up for long? Not properly chipped. They're no more dangerous than a car or an aeroplane. A machine designed for human use. No, that's not how it's going to work, Oliver. Because one day they're going to escape. And then when they do, they're going to kill all of us. It's the end of the human race you're looking at. Oh. I'd love to stand around and discuss your apocalyptic fantasies all day, Professor, but unfortunately, I've got work to do now. In a few minutes, the mainframe will have eliminated the virus. Unfortunately, your friends have escaped. Lester will soon know where I am. But I have you, and I don't think he'll attack me. I wouldn't bet on that. You've had your chance to surrender, Leek. I still have 12 creatures out there. One command from me, and there'll be absolute chaos. Well, Cutter didn't tell you. That clever little virus of his sent us the contents of your hard disk. We found names, locations, all sorts of useful stuff. We're just mopping up the last of your menagerie now. Oh, and Jenny just phoned. You have, uh... Oh, just a few minutes before we join you. Now, if you don't mind, I think there's some snooker on the other channel. Have you ever seen a man torn in half on live TV, Lester? Call a halt to your men, or I shall order the creatures to dismantle Professor Cutter, joint by joint. The government does not negotiate with hostage takers. 30 seconds, then they kill him. Your choice. James, don't do it. I'm not important. Ten. Unfortunately, I agree with Professor Cutter. Eight. Seven, six, five. No individual's life is more important than the protection of the public. Four, three, two, one. What have you done? Switch that off. 